to clean it first of all and just see that everything's driving okay feels odd being back in this oh, and I'm with my friend Law. hello so today should be a pretty fun video We've cleaned the R8, which is now in the south of France. This is my friend Laura, who's going to be with me in the car and helping us hold the camera. So we just cleaned the car, and this is surreal, seeing the R8 in the south of France. So I'll explain what's going on with it in a second. But obviously, as you saw in the beginning of the video, it got delivered to me this morning. Oof, this park's pretty close there. Let's hop in. Right, so when you go inside, obviously this is manual, clutch down, foot on the brake, check that the valve is open. Boom, boom, seatbelt on. Good, yes, good idea. And then, oh, that V10 comes to life. Switch the radio off. Close the door. I love all this carbon here. I've missed this car so much. It's so cool to see it. I've only ever driven it in London, which is a bit sad. Long, well, I'm gonna give you the camera. Yeah. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, let's do this. Let's head out. Now, one thing to keep in mind, actually, after you've cleaned the car, is when you put wax on it to be able to let the water kind of flow off the car freely, it then means that the brakes uh, don't stick right. So we've kind of not got that many brakes for the next two minutes. Not to alarm you, <laughs> it's fine. But uh, yeah, you just need to keep it in mind. Right, let's see, this is a bit of a weird junction. Oh, that noise manual gearbox now coming down here we couldn't quite figure out how the ac worked i think we've maybe figured it out but uh yeah it's a little bit complex anyways this car is in the south of france does that mean that the ferrari is gone or anything like that no i'm keeping the ferrari it's currently in service i'm not sure if i've shown that yet to you guys um, but the car's in service and this is coming down here for a couple of months now um, it can only come down for a couple of months at a time and then I'm gonna send it back up to the UK but effectively the Ferrari is really really hardcore and I've been missing this car so much I love it I was so excited when I got it and I was just missing it so much I was like I want to get the R8 down to the south of France naturally aspirated V10 manual gearbox on these roads and so usable still got the comfort seats um, yeah, it's just much much more of a daily driver is almost ridiculous to say, but much more of a car that you can use or go to dinner with. We were talking about it earlier, but it, it's, oh, they want me to line up next to them here. Um, it's a car that you can actually use, whereas the Scud is much more of, a, of an occasion. Let's give them a little acceleration. some friends filming at the same time so I'm trying to focus on both things right so straight onto little roads oh this gearbox is so 
so nice. The gated shifter is unreal. So what are we talking? We're talking 550 horsepower with this. Naturally aspirated 5.2 liter V10. It's a V10 plus, so obviously quite rare, only six in the UK currently. That noise comes from a Zen Rage exhaust, which I had put on the car, which I adore, because I got valves, so it can be very usable, but then when you want it to be, it makes a bit of noise. I'm gonna open the windows a little bit, so you guys can hear it a bit better. But listen to this. What a beautiful noise. Obviously Lamborghini the right engine, same engine as you get in the Lamborghini Huracan. Oh, sorry, Lamborghini Gallardo. Um, yeah, these things are, oh, I love it. And having it here and now, I can't wait to see it with the Scud. I obviously don't have the Scud yet. Um, at the same time as this car, so I haven't seen them side by side. But eventually we'll have both gray cars side by side and it will just be pretty epic. Um, but yeah, no, it's cool. I'm happy to share this with you as well, though. It's really cool that uh, you get to see this car. You were saying you prefer this car to the Ferrari, right? Uh, yeah. It's, it's very different, but this suits you better, I think. Yeah. Comfortable, a bit less raw and hardcore. Ready? I mean, it's such a luxury for sure, but it's nice to have the choice between the F1 gearbox and the manual. It's been such a while I've been waiting for this car. Obviously, it is still going to get wrapped. We spoke about that. That's still in the plans, even though I think it looks awesome in this kind of very discreet grey with the silver wheels uh, right now. But it will eventually get um, a wrap put on it soon, actually. We're just waiting for it to be possible for people to be able to travel over here. Oh, it's so smooth. Um, the torque kind of picks up quite quickly and you can really drive it in such like a nice kind of cruise away. It's not a car that really makes you want to like drive it hard like the Ferrari. This is a car that makes you want to cruise at a steady pace. And I love that. Suits what I'm looking for right now. Oh, yes. Anyways, I was saying, the wrap's gonna be coming soon. Wheels as well, maybe at some point, either I'll paint these or put some uh, on. I'm not too sure yet, but that will be happening in not too long. It's like a lion. Sounds like a lion. I'm over the moon. And I look forward to having the summer here with both of them. You comment down below if, uh, if you think this is a good car to have down here. I know a lot of people are saying, why don't you have the Spider, etc., etc. but I think the coupe, the way it looks, with this setup, with the manual, this generation, the facelift, I love it. It does drink fuel though, unsurprising. 5.2 liter V10, drinking away. But what I love is also just how usable all the interfaces are um, and the comfort behind it, Bang & Olufsen, sound system so you've got a great sound system when you want it my sound system in the ferrari i forgot the pin code since when do you need a pin code first of all for a radio but i forgot the pin code for it so it hasn't worked for the last five months not that i really care but a bit annoying whereas here i can actually listen to my music in the car all right let's give these guys a little bit of noise So this is what this is what I can see in front of me. Uh, really cool vision. Obviously very analog. Um, so it's kind of yeah, it's changed a lot on the newer R8. But look, I mean, we've got plenty of room. You've got loads of space there. You're really nice and comfortable. Now, one of the downsides of this car is the size of the boot, which is absolutely tiny. I'll hand that back to you. Yeah, the boot is really really small. But whatever, we'll make do with it. I'm super happy. It's got Love's seal of approval on it, which I'm happy about. 
and yeah we're just gonna have so many great experiences now cruising around with this lots of videos to come and i can't wait to get it side by side with the scuderia hopefully in the very very near future yes yes i had missed this car a lot so cool to be back in it currently gray still not wrapped approved by lock whose instagram we're gonna put down below we're gonna be doing a lot more videos together uh, on the on my french lifestyle channel channel and many things so go give her a follow uh, some really cool stuff there but also this car yes we haven't seen it with the scuderia yet as i mentioned we haven't seen it wrapped yet but so cool to have it back here in the south of france changes the car getting it out of the streets of london yeah love it so thanks for watching subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you very soon cheers guys bye bye